There is something about the 80s that we can't seem to stop talking about. Movies debuted which are still referenced today. Music made a huge cultural impact and DCFCU made great progress. With four branches opened by the end of the decade, Dade County Federal Credit Union expanded membership services to include car loans and ATM cards allowing access to checking accounts and other funds. The 80s gave us a lot to process, starting with the Marielle Boatlift Crisis, which brought 150,000 Cubans to Miami in 1980. It became the largest transport in civilian history. The year continued with a streak of its best and worst, including the epic rivalry of Sugar Ray Leonard and Roberto Duran, the election of former Hollywood actor Ronald Reagan as President of the United States, Pac-Man's debut in the assassination of Beatles member John Lennon. Video killed the radio star when MTV debuted the first music videos in late 1981, changing forever how we heard and enjoyed our music. With the help of video jockeys, this new phenomenon was here to stay. In 1982, Michael Jackson released Thriller, which demolished racial barriers in pop music by appearing on MTV and meeting President Reagan at the White House. Steven Spielberg released E.T. The Extraterrestrial, becoming one of the highest grossing films of all time. 1983 brought a new service to Dade County Federal Credit Union, introducing checking accounts called Checkmate and Royal Checkmate. We also introduced another service strictly for Dade County employees, Direct Deposit. The University of Miami were crowned the national champions of the NCAA Division 1A after a surprising win over the top-ranking Nebraska Huskers in what some consider the greatest championship game ever played. This victory is widely viewed as the driving force which propelled Miami to five titles over an 18-year period, an era of dominance unmatched in college sports. The iconic Scarface was released, earning $65.8 million at the box office. Dade County Federal Credit Union issued our first Visa card and established our first automated teller machines, known commonly as ATMs, in 1984. This was also the year we opened a branch in Jackson Memorial Hospital to better service JMH employees. America was also introduced to Miami Vice, a show noted for its heavy integration of music and visual effects for storytelling. 1985 saw great advances in politics, technology, and medicine when Xavier Suarez was elected as the first Cuban mayor of Miami, Microsoft Corporation released the first version of Windows, and the FDA approved a blood test for AIDS. Looking to expand, DCFCU had new headquarters in downtown by 1986 and had close to $80 million in assets. Also expanding was our membership, up to 21,580. In 1987, locals received a visit from Pope John Paul II. There was an open-air mass held for 150,000 people in Tamiami Park. By now, the U.S. population was estimated at 244.6 million. A 508-point drop in the stock market took a toll on the growing population. This event was dubbed Black Monday and was part of a domino effect of worldwide stock market falls. As 1988 rolled around, the NBA expanded into two new cities, Charlotte and Miami, thus establishing the second professional team in Miami, our beloved Miami Heat. Meanwhile, DC FCU's capital to asset ratio was at 4.42%. By 1989, our credit union's net worth increased by 14.3% and members performed 634,720 transactions, totaling $43,582,911 all through Public Supermarkets Presto ATM Network. This year marked a great milestone for Dade County Federal as we celebrated our 50th anniversary. The 80s brought substantial change, which shaped our media, culture, and banking system. Next, we revisit the not-so-distant decade of the 90s as we inch closer to our 75-year celebration.